Hi, I am back and so soon. I wanted to do this video for a while and I just haven't because it gets kind of out of hand. Um, but this is a, just a pins and pencils and things I carry on an everyday basis. Um, most of them are not fountain pens. I was carrying my fountain pens around every day until fairly recently and I had an accident. Well, I didn't have an accident. One of my Noodler's pins had an accident. It happens. Whatever. Um, so I'll do a fountain pen thing later because I haven't carried these fountain pens around with me now in several months um, because of that I got just I was kind of bugged and then the case got dirty and then I was irritated because my case got dirty and anyway so I haven't carried those around in a while so excuse me this is the everything else that I carry and I've talked about before that I'm an equal opportunity pin whore and mostly I am except for ball points that's where I draw the line and I'll use them if I have to. I prefer to at least use a, a G2, um, and I love G2s. I keep them at work. I keep them at home. Um, so these are fantastic. If you don't, if you haven't tried them, what is taking you so long? Um, and those of you who are my pen friends will know that it's good stuff. I prefer the fives. I'll use the sevens. I think most of the colors only come in sevens, but I'll use them both. It doesn't matter. Um, I prefer the fives though. So. Okay, so on an everyday basis, I always carry this pen bag. It came from Jet Pins. Um, most of the, the two places I really buy pens from are Goulet Pen Company and Jet Pins um, because of their stock and their service. Jet Pins also has excellent service. Free shipping over anything over $25, so you might as well spend the 25 bucks, and it's very easy to do on Jet Pins. Um, so most of what I buy pen-wise comes from one or the other. And if it's not a fountain pen, it's likely that it came from Jet Pins. Um, and that includes pin accessories, like this pin bag. And these are really cool. They zip up the side, but you can fold the top down. And it's it's got a hard base that goes around here. You really can't see that up there a little bit. So this part that goes around like this is hard, and that sits up on the table. And it sits up like a pin cup. And so you don't have to drop your pins all over a dirty area. And I don't like my pins getting all schmutzy. I don't like other people <laughs> using my pins. I'm weird about my pins. I am. Um, but... I like to write and I like to doodle and I don't want my pens messed with. Anyway, so what I carry in here on a regular basis is primarily black pens, although I do have a couple of Marvy Le pens and I love these. Um, I carry the red and the green with me because in my calendar the only things I really color code are paydays and those are in green and bills which are in red and those are as close to green and red as I have at this point. Um, and Le pens are really small. If it's something that you're only using, like I Literally, I make little dots um, with the green on paydays, and then I write the bill. I put a red dot, and then I put how much the bill is, like recurring things, in the red. So it's not a pen pens I use very often. They don't take up much space in here, which is good. So I have room for other things that I really do love. Um, I have one highlighter. It's Essential Soft. From This came from Jet Pins. I don't know who the manufacturer is. Nope, don't know. Essential Soft Highlighter in Yellow. I keep that in there. I don't use highlighters much, but I keep it in there because there are times when I do want one. I have an eraser stick. This also came from Jet Pins. Um, it, it's a Mitsubishi Knock. I'm sorry. I like these plastic. Um, it's like a Mars plastic eraser, but I like them in the pin form, and it's really convenient to carry around. I carry a couple of pencils. This is a Fit Curve, um, and they, it was cheap. And it's really cool. The eraser twists up, and it's the same color as the pencil. Um, but I really like um, pins and pencils. It's harder for me to find pins like this, but pencils, it's easier these days. It has a fatter grip. Um, I have carpal tunnel. I had the carpal tunnel release surgery um, several years ago, and so something with a fatter barrel is easier for me to write with or draw with on a consistent basis. Um, and I have one other pencil, and this one I love. It's called an Olno, O-L-N-O. It also came from Jet Pins. And it clicks like this, like you bend the body like that to click the lead. I don't know if you heard the click. Anyway, that's what clicks the lead. Um, useless eraser, as all uh, or most all um, mechanical pencils have, but it has this really great grip. And it's not a squishy grip like the Alpha Gels. It's firm, but it's nice and fat. And I really, really like this one. And it's also easy to advance, because while you're writing, you can just hit the side of the barrel and click the lead. And I like that about it. I have, I put this in recently, this is one of those um, Polito multi-pins, I had this in my file fact. It's got a light blue, a light green, an orange, pink, and purple, and those, I carry only this with the file facts. 
Um, I don't use it as often anymore, and I think probably because there's a fine line for me um, often, particularly with colored pens between fine lines. I'm sorry, there was really no pun intended between uh, how fine a line gets that I can stand and how fine it is when I just don't like the way it feels on the paper. So this is not one of my favorite pens. It writes really well, works really well. It's got a nice fat barrel. I just don't use it all that often. I have, let me pull the stuff out of here that I haven't shown you so I can see what I'm doing. Um, nope, saw that. I have a number seven Pentel Energel. These are hard to find. I have not been able to find these on jet pins. I found this here and it's a, a what is it, 0 0.707, whatever the hell that is. I never remember if it's 0 0.07 or 0.7, whatever. Um, and so that's not my favorite width. It's a little bit juicy for me, but the purple is gorgeous. I prefer, well, I shouldn't say that. A lot of times I like to just write in purple as my main color. And I really like this pen. They are smooth. They are sweet. Um, I wish it had a finer tip. See, that's what I'm saying is that there's a fine line, no pun intended, between something that's too narrow on the page or something that's not, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's good. But I had to find it here, which is weird because Grants doesn't have anything, and I found that here. Weird stuff. I keep a glue pen, um, and I use this a lot for gluing ephemera into stuff. And as you, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, there's a reservoir here, the glue, I don't know, I got it at jet pens. It's just a glue pen. Easy peasy. I keep that. Because um, I used to keep a glue stick, but it was a pain in the butt, and this is a lot thinner. Um, and I wish I could find something better than this even. Um, I have a Pentel, another inner gel. It's not the same though, and it is a 0.5 needle point. I really like this pen. Very nice. All of these Pentel inner gels write very smoothly. Very, very nice pens. I have a white jelly roll, and I use this when I need, I keep this one in here and use it most often when I need a white ink pen. Um, I have, I tried some different drawing pens not too long ago. This is the O. Oto, I don't know, Oto, whatever, graphic liner in an 01. That's not the size of the points, though. I think their numbers were different, but this is a nice fine line. I want to say this is like a three, maybe. Um, I have, I got this not too long ago, a Kuratake Mangaka 2 in sepia. It's okay. It writes well. I'm not super fond of the color, so I guess I should um, do that distinction. It's got a super fine uh, point on it. Nice fine line, nice clean lines. I'm just not super fond of the color. Um, and then I have, this is also made by Marvy. It's a lip pen, but it's a drawing pen, and I love this pen. I buy about 30 more of them. This is fabulous. It's got a fairly fat barrel to write with, and the point and the writing with it is just, yeah, I love this pen. Um, I love felt tip pens anyway. I prefer them to roller balls. And this is the felt tip technical drawing pen. It's a point three. Let's see if I can get that up where you where you can see it. Technical drawing pen. It is a point three nib. Point whatever it shows you right there. These are fantastic. I love all the Marvy lip pens. I don't use many of these little ones anymore because the barrel is so narrow. Um, but these are fabulous. And then the rest of them are, I love Pigma Microns. Love them, love them, love them. Good stuff. I keep an orange for highlighting. I think they're all the same point size. Yeah, I buy the O5s. The point five, point O5, whatever the hell it is. I buy the fives. <laughs> I keep one in an orange for highlighting around stuff. Um, you can highlight with it and then write through it. Obviously, when you lay them down, they're permanent. They're archival. Good stuff. Pigma Microns. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, I keep a brown, I don't know if it, and I'm not sure if this is sepia or brown, they make two different brown colors, and I don't remember now if I bought sepia or brown, and it does not tell me on here either, it doesn't tell me or I can't find it on the barrel, but it came from Jetsons, um, black, obviously, and then blue black, and I love this blue black, good stuff, so I keep four of those, and I would probably keep more if I had a bigger pin bag, but I really had to narrow it down, and as you can see, I was carrying, well, I was carrying a lot of pins, y'all. And as you can see, that's really full. There's a little bit of room in there, but to zip it up already is a problem. So I would probably carry more microns, but you can see that I'm already, yeah, it's getting too chubby for its zipper. Anyway, 
Um, I also carry, um, not every day, I carry this bag every day, every day. This is always in my bag. Um, but I carry sometimes this fuzzy one that I got from coolpencilcase.com. It's just cool pencil case. Google cool pencil case, y'all. Easy peasy. And it had the neatest little ball on the zipper, and that keeps popping off. Whatever. It's fuzzy. I like it. The inside is a really nice satiny type stuff. And so I try to be really careful with the inside of this that I don't get schmutz on it. And that is actually one of those little binder clips that I've been looking for all over the place and couldn't find because I have too much crap in this bag. And this bag is also hard to zip. Yeah. In this, I keep a lot of crap. I recently bought um, some of the friction erasable markers from who else? Jet pens. They come in a lot of really cool colors. They have different sets, but I like um, colors that are a little bit different. So this this is the color set I got. I think it was number two. So it has this really cool kind of amberish, a mm, purpley, la purpley lavender, a green, a like a peachy pink, like a salmony color, um, a purple that's not. It's like a plummy color, like a magenta, kind of, and then a blue. Um, and these are really neat for highlighting around stuff. I write in my planner with them. Um, that's what the tip looks like. Um, so they're not super fine point, but they are felt tip and they are erasable, which is cool. These are really cool. This was a good buy. I enjoy these. I use these quite a bit in my planner. Primarily to highlight things or to write around stuff. I don't write things in as much as I do just, you know, like I'll make bubbles and doodles and doodles in the margins and things like that. I have another one of those um, Essential Soft highlighters, again from Jet Pins, like the yellow one that I showed you in my other pin bag. This one's pink. And I'm not sure why I keep this around. I'm not sure I've used it more than once or twice, but th that doesn't take up much space. Um, I keep two more white pens, and I do use white pens. I use them quite a bit, um, whether I'm Zen doodling or whether it's just in my planner or whatever. Um, this is a Uniball Signo. This one's also a really good one. This one's got a little bit wider point than the Jelly Roll, so you get a little more white. Um, and this is also a Uniball Signo, but it's a little bit different. I don't like this one quite as well. But they came from Jet Pins, so just check Jet Pins under. You know you can filter your, your choices on Jet Pins and just check for white pins. Two more. I lied. Three more. Marby Le Pins in this really great pink, and it's a very dusky light pink in black and in gray. I love the gray. And I probably have one knocking around here in that oriental blue color. I like that one too. Um, and so I keep those. And I had, I think I had that oriental blue in here and I don't know if something happened to it. I have a couple of Sharpies, a pink one and a turquoise one. The Sharpie pins, not markers. I have a Sleechy in metallic purple. Uh, the Sharpies did not come from Jet Pins. That's, no, I would say that's the only thing that didn't, but no, it's not. The Sharpies I think I bought here. Um, in one of those back to school sales. Sleechies, those came from Jet Pins. It's a 0.4. Um, and the only reason I keep this is because it's a metallic purple. These were not some of my favorite pins, primarily because of the skinny barrels. They do write really nicely, but I wasn't fond of the skinny barrels. And then I picked these up recently. Um, these are Pilot Juice, and they're metallic. So just something different. I do write in these. I do highlight with them. So I've got the green, the blue, a lavender color, silver, pink, and a gold. They're all really good. These Pilot Juice, um, I so far haven't had any problem. You know, sometimes um, metallics will gum up, and I have not had any problems with these at all. Um, they have a really cool clip to them. I mean, I keep them in a bag, so it's not really an issue, but if you clip your pins, it's a really useful clip, and I love um, retractable pins. And last but certainly not least, I keep a honk and whack of Pit Artist pins. Um, if you have not discovered Pit Artist pins, they are absolutely, I have to move a little bit, I'm so sorry for the, take Dramamine before you watch my videos probably. Um, if you haven't discovered Pit Artist pins, they're fantastic. They're India ink, um, and so when they're dry, they're permanent. Um, but they don't bleed through your pages, they don't make your pages um, buckle, and they're great. I use them a lot in my planner for highlighting, for doing doodles, for um, like on the month. Uh, I was going to say I had it right here and I was going to show you, but maybe I don't. Um, for the, oh, here it is. For the months, what I do is, like, highlight the inside of the page. So, like, here, that's Pit Artist Pen. And I've just done, like, a little doodle down here. Um, and so I use those a lot. 
to do things like that. Um, they also work on the pages without bleeding through. You can see, whoa, the other way. Here what I've done is I just doodled with that Pit Artist pen. I took my white pen over it and made like little stitches. They're really great. Um, I love them. And I only use, I'm picky about colors with these though. I'll use a, these are all forms of grays and black. And I only have the grays that I really like. I prefer cool grays to warm, although I think I have a couple warms in here. And the only colors I use are this blue, which I love. It's a um, Indian Thring, Iden Thring blue. I don't know how. It's number 247. What the hell? I don't know. Um, it's kind of a gray blue. I use the pink. I bought a set of these, and these came in the set. Um, the set of colors, then I bought a set of grays separately. And then a purple violet. The pink is hopefully something I can pronounce. Um, middle purple pink. Yay for me! Um, but Pit Artist pens are fabulous, and they're all the brush tip. I do have some of the pens that aren't the brush tip. They're not my favorites, um, and I think only because I don't like the grip. Do you see how it um, changes right there? I don't like the way that gets caught on my finger, and so I prefer the Figma Microns. Um, and that's the only reason. There's nothing wrong with the pits. The smaller pens like to use for writing or for zen doodling or whatever. Um, and then these are all grays. And I love stuff in grayscale. So so that's what I keep in that as far as pen-wise. I'm having a heck of a time getting the Pit Artist pens crammed back in this little tiny bag. But I also carry a few other just things. Um, I have post-its because, and this is my favorite size because you can stick them, you can stick them anywhere. They fit anywhere, it was really my point. I have a scented eraser just because. It's a scented eraser. I have some Hello Kitty lead. And I, I really just keep this, and I bought these things from Cool Pencil Case, the scented eraser and the Hello Kitty lead. I fill this with other lead, but I just like the Hello Kitty container. These also came from Cool Pencil Case, and they're just little flags. But they're cute flags. Um... Sentimental Circus is the name of those, and they have cute little critters on them. And then I have this. This also came from Jet Pins originally. It's just clips, and they were in those little flower, little flower ones, but I've also refilled it. I don't know if you can see without me pouring it out. Yeah, I've refilled it with other paper clips, but it had these really neat little flower clips, and I love these, and I use them all over the place. And then I put other paper clips in there, and I'm always needing a paper clip. So by the time I try to stick... You can see that it's already, there's a special way you have to hold your mouth and, you know, do a dance and um, shuffle it around. And you can see that stuff is attempting to spill out the top. Um, I just threw a pit. It's really difficult to get everything in there and get it closed. And I could not carry one more thing in this bag, probably. Um, maybe one more paper clip or something. But, ah, look, I did it. I held my mouth right. Um, so I kind of have to be careful, but, oh, I just love this bag. And really, I can't, if this is heavy enough as it is, I really can't go with anything bigger on a consistent basis because it's just too much. Um, I used to carry a really big pin bag, and I would carry a couple of them, and it just got out of hand. And really on a day-to-day -day basis, I use, I really do use most of what's in here. Um, not every single day, but the one day I don't take it is the one day that I have 10 minutes that I can spend doodling in my planner. So um, I take it more often than not, and and those those two together seem to be fairly manageable. Now, there are days when I know I'm going to meetings or I'm going to trainings or I'm going to the city or whatever, and I don't take this bag, but this bag has a permanent home in my purse, and it's always, always in there. So at least I have the basics, and then the fluff, you know, can get thrown in or not. But on a, you know, an everyday basis, like to go to work, those go with me. I don't know what I'm going to do when I start wanting to carry sketch tools around. I My bag can only be so big. All the pens. All the pens. Anyway, that's what I carry on a daily basis. Love to see what you carry around with you. Oh, I love what's in my bag videos, and I love what's in my what's in my pin bag videos. So please, yeah, if you're going to upload one, do it, and then send me a link. You can't do video responses anymore because Google's stupid. Um, but yeah, send me the link and do some videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.